Although million dollar HDB flats are still in the minority, the reality is these outliers are growing in numbers and fast. Last year, we had 460 units transacted above $1 million, which is more than the previous year of 369 transactions. The HDB project with the highest number of million dollar HDB resale flats is Pinnacle at Duxton. It consistently attracts a stream of buyers willing to pay top dollar for a rare HDB flat right in the city center. Other high-profile hotspots for million dollar HDB flats are Sky Terrace at Dawson, Natura Loft at Bishan, the Peak at Toapayo, and City View at Boon Kang. But other than that, we even started to see this $1 million HDB trend popping up in other areas such as Punggol and Yishun. The question is, what do these $1 million flats have in common? Number one is location. Location is one of the key characteristics of a $1 million HDB resale flat. And it's pretty obvious, a house in a good location creates a lot of convenience for the homeowner. When the HDB is in a good location, you have access to shopping malls, hawker centers, and supermarkets. It makes everyday living easy and convenient. For others, it is about living close to a certain school that is perceived to be better than others. Another benefit that comes with having a good location is the time you can save your travel time, especially if you are working in the CBD area. For example, if you are staying in Pinnacle at Duxton at Tanjong Pagar, you are literally within the city center. You can go to work within 30 minutes. Compare that if you live in Punggol, for example, where it takes over an hour one way. This means you can save one to two hours of travel time daily to and from work. The second characteristic of a million dollar HDB flat is its size. Over the years, properties in Singapore have been getting smaller and smaller. The trend towards smaller flat sizes not only affected condos but also HDBs. In the 80s, a four-room HDB flat was around 105 square meter. However, from the year 2000, the size dropped to 90 square meter for the same type of flat. To a certain extent, this trend helped some older flats to be able to command a premium price compared to a smaller size HDB. We can see this particularly for executive apartments or HDB micenets, which are generally priced much higher than the rest of the market. The third characteristic is unblocked view. In a crowded city state like Singapore, it's very difficult to avoid the sight of high-rise buildings. This means that views from home often get blocked by the next building. However, there are some HDB flats that come with an unblocked view and it will even boost the resale price higher if the view is considered to be picturesque. For example, take City View at Henderson and City View at Boon Kang. From higher floor units, you'll be able to see a nice city skyline or even get a glimpse of the fireworks at Marina Bay during New Year's Eve and National Day. The next typical characteristic of a million dollar HDB is the long remaining lease aka the flat is still relatively young. Because none of the public housing in Singapore is freehold, hence the ticking clock of a leasehold is real. In theory, you basically have to give back the land to the government once that lease ends. Beyond that, the remaining lease on the property also has implications for your housing loan. If the lease expires before you or your spouse, whoever is younger, reaches age 95, you will not be able to get the full HDB housing loan. If you want to borrow from the bank instead, the criteria are more strict. For example, if the loan extends beyond age 65 or exceeds 30 years of loan tenure, you will need to manage with a loan to valuation limit below the existing cap of 75%. The fifth characteristic of a million dollar HDB is looking like a condo. According to a survey that was being done by Today Media, they found that 8 out of 10 respondents aspire to own their own private homes. However, according to the Department of Statistics Singapore, around 77.9% of households live in an HDB. Hence, for most Singaporeans, being able to upgrade from HDB to a condo is a dream come true. However, condos are far more expensive per square foot. No wonder HDB flats that look like a condo, at least from the outside, became more popular as they are perceived to be more value for money. Take Pinnacle at Duxton for example. At a glance, doesn't it look like a condo? The sky garden, underground car park, and cool design 
make you feel as if you are staying in a condo but you don't have to pay the sky high price tag. This is also the case with Natural Love DBSS at Bishan. If you don't know any better, you might think it was a condo just based on the big balcony itself. No wonder these two developments are consistently producing $1 million resale flat. The next characteristic of a $1 million HDB is being surrounded by private properties. Why? because the price comparison will benefit these HDB owners. The reality is, there are Singaporeans who earn well above the median income and they can afford these expensive flats. To them, a million dollar HDB flat might seem to be a bargain if they compare it with private developments in the same area. Take Pinnacle at Duxton again for example. $1.4 million for a four-room resale flat seems ridiculously expensive. However, the condo alternative for the same neighborhood at Wally Residence Condo will cost around $3.2 million for roughly the same size, not to mention the savings that the buyer could have from the monthly maintenance fee. Last but not least, the next characteristic of a million dollar HDB is unique properties. Just like any other market, the property market is also governed by supply and demand. There are certain HDB property types that are no longer produced, hence making them high in demand. For example, HDB terrace housing. You can still find them in areas like Sterling Road, Jalan Tentram, and Jalan Bahagia. It's a unique opportunity to stay in a landed property for an HDB price. They tend to fetch a higher price because there are only 285 HDB terraces. Masonet is also a similar story. HDB stopped producing them in 1995, so you can only find them in the resale market. Another type that is unique is the rare loft units. HDB rarely offers this, although it is highly sought after for its luxury feels. No wonder this HDB love unit in Punggol was sold for $1.2 million. Would you ever buy a million dollar HDB flat? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!